Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my Charleston travel vlog with y'all. Once again, this was a beautiful place. We did lots of walking around and sightseeing. So much beauty to see in this town. So I will be sharing some things that we saw and some more spots from Nicholas Sparks movies. This is King Street and this restaurant is called High Cotton. And if you remember the scene in the notebook where Noah is in Charleston, getting his house plans approved and he's on the bus and sees Allie walking down the street and then follows her to see her meeting her fiance in a restaurant. She was walking down this street and High Cotton is actually the restaurant where he looked through the window and saw Allie with her fiance. This is also the street from the scene where they first meet and they are at the American theater seeing a movie and they are like dancing in the street and then they lie on the ground under a traffic light. All of that is from this street and in a clip later, you'll be able to see the American theater. It will be on the left in a later clip but it was just so cool to see all these places from all of my favorite movies. Charleston has several different beaches and I chose to go to the Isle of Palms because this is the beach where the scene from Dear John was filmed where Savannah drops her purse off the pier and then John, which is played by Channing Tatum of course, he is surfing and he swims out to get her purse and return it to her and that is how they meet. So that was actually this pier on this beach where that part of Dear John was filmed. And there are several other locations around Charleston where Dear John was filmed, but this was one of my favorite scenes of the movie and one of the most iconic, so I definitely wanted to make sure that we saw this pier. This is the Boone Hall Plantation, and it was actually used as Allie's summer home in The Notebook. Also, Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds got married here. I did not realize that until we had gotten here. And it has been used in several other movies as well, but I feel like The Notebook is the most well-known movie that has been filmed here.
this is Rainbow Row and there were just so many beautiful houses and buildings and streets to look at. I feel like you could just go to Charleston and literally do nothing besides look around and eat and you would be so happy. They have so much good food and so much beauty to see. I highly recommend going here if you haven't already. In the next clip, if you look up to the left, you can see the American Theater across the street. I did not get great footage of it because I was too busy taking pictures, but this is the theater where Allie and Noah go to the movie with their friends, and then after that, they walk the streets and dance in the streets, and you know the rest. This is Cypress Gardens and it may have been the highlight of our trip. If you go to Charleston, I highly recommend going here. I feel like it is a hidden gem. No one had recommended it to me or told me about it and I had no idea that it even existed until I was just looking at stuff online and found it. But it was, I think, $10 a person and then even less for kids. But there are miles and miles of walking trails. There are picnic tables and areas where you can have lunch. They have a little butterfly house, a little aquarium, and then of course the swamp. And you can get a rowboat and tour the swamp. And it's just like a full afternoon of fun and entertainment for $10. So when we go back to Charleston, I definitely think we will do this again. I will say that it was 20 to 30 miles north of Charleston, but totally worth the drive.
So this is the swamp where Noah takes Allie out onto the water in the little canoe toward the end of the movie and tells her how he feels about her and that he's been writing her letters and all that good stuff. So it was so much fun to see this because that's such an iconic scene in that movie. But like I said, you have access to rowboats and you can go out on one by yourself or you can pay a little extra and have like a guided tour. But Ethan and I did some of the walking trails and walked around and looked at everything and then we just got a little rowboat on our own and it was so much fun. We were in the water for probably 30 to 45 minutes. There's like arrows showing you kind of the path that you're supposed to stay on and then it brings you back to the dock and it was seriously like the most fun that we had on the trip. Leave this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed getting to see this trip and comment below and let me know if you've been to Charleston or what your favorite Nicholas Sparks movie is. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Just one day, watch this madness, colorful charade. No one can be just like me.